Well, let's get started. We're gonna warm up, um, gradually work on that posture. And then, uh, well, we're gonna start today with a song instead of ending it. So, um, if you ever feel like if your legs are coming together, you're having a difficult time keeping your knees in line with your hips, yoga blocks are really great to just place in between your knees. So then you have that support. Um, pillows work well too. Um, so then your knees and your hips are in line, which is always really nice. I just came on. I'm sorry. Did I miss anything yet? Not yet, Paul. We are just getting started. Okay. So settle in. Get those feet on the ground, hips on the ground, even out that pelvis. Give yourself some big shoulder rolls backwards. Switch directions. You can do one at a time. Go back again, make them a little bit bigger, getting that elbow in, maybe even stretching up with that arm, hand, pinky leading, like you're swimming backstroke. Good, open up those arms out wide to the side, drop them down, shoulders drop down away from your ears, find that nice neutral pelvis. So your tailbone's not sticking out, arching your back, it's also not tucked under where you're hunched. So sit up nice and tall, maybe give yourself a few wiggles, get that spine a little longer, shoulders drop down away from your ears, head, neck, chin tucks, chin stays parallel to the ground, squeeze the back of your neck, three, two, one, release. Make sure those shoulders are down. You can even put them down to your side, fingertips down to the ground, or drive those elbows down if you don't have room for your hands. Chin tuck back. Breathe, three, two, one. Release. Again, shoulders drop down. Push them down to the ground even more. Make sure you're still even through your pelvis or tough feet on the ground. Draw those shoulders back just a little bit. Breathe, chin tuck, squeeze, back of your neck, three, two, one, release. Good, let's warm up that spine a little bit more while we're there, a little bit to the side. So arms out to the side, stretch those arms out nice and long, and you're gonna hinge side to side, making sure that you keep that nice long pelvis. If you're sitting and back, if you're sitting on a chair, Make sure you come as far over to the front of it as you can. Stretch and hold to one side. Little pulses here, warming up that torso. Three, two, one, and switch sides. Reach, testing that balance a little bit. Three, two, one. Awesome. Shoulders drop down, sit nice and tall. Let's go for a quick run. So pump those arms. If you can, get those knees going too. Pump it even faster wherever you're at. Push yourself here. Keep a nice steady pace. Halfway. Get those knees going. Get those arms pumping. You got 20 seconds here, slowly build it up. Keep breathing. Last 10 seconds, push yourself, final sprint here to the finish. Push, pump those arms, pump those legs. You got five, four, three, two, one. Release, nice. Little air sprint here, drop those shoulders down. Nice job. Let's start off with a little core series. You guys ready for it? So a lot of times we end our class with our song, but we're gonna see if this microphone works over top of some music. So find your balance. So either sitting up, legs up on a ball or table, we're gonna do some crunches and some flutters. So if you're not fluttering your legs, you're gonna be fluttering your arms. If you want added challenge, you're gonna do both. 
The song for the day is Sally Up, Sally Down. So anytime that you hear the song say, Sally Up, you're going to crunch and then come back. When it says down, then you'll do a little bit more of a backward or a twist to the side. Let's do twists to the side. So Sally Up, you're going to crunch up. Sally down, you'll twist. All right? And here we go. Let's get this music. Find your balance point. Bring Sally up. Can you hear that? Sally down. Let's All right, here we go. Find that balance. Bring Sally up. Sally up. Bring Sally down. I know that this mix, so grab a sip of water if you haven't. And here we go, is that music too loud or anything for anyone? 
A little bit down. Better. Cool. A little bit more. Good. All right, I have no idea, full disclaimer, what's on this. If somebody doesn't like a song or it's offensive or anything, just um, flag me down in this whistle. All right, here we go. Sit tall, grab some weights. Let's start with some bicep curls. Bands or dumbbells, or resistance bands or dumbbells, your choice. Shoulders down, couple sets here, bicep curls. Make sure you still are grounded, sitting up tall, neck is in line with your spine just like you started. Here we go, three, two, one, good. So I have this band just wrapped underneath the wheelchair, you can do that with a regular chair too, just put it underneath and that way it's ready to go. Here you go, bicep curls again. Another set, this time I want you to go thumbs up, bicep curls, hammer curls here. Keep it going. Are you breathing? Last three, last two, and one. Nice, drop those shoulders down. Arms up, weights or resistance bands in your hand. If you want a little extra, we're gonna punch forward. To the beat. Keep it going. Working those chests, arms. Arms come back, good. Cross it over. Arms always come back to center. And up. You can always slow this down if you need to. Work at your pace. Back forward. Fire up that core. Cross. Looking strong. You're almost there, guys. Super, super active here. And up, hold. 
Slide those shoulders a little further down your back. Squeeze them together. Squeeze.
So full jumping jack, arms and legs. Step it out one arm, leg at a time. Or just arms. Here we go in three, two, one. Jumping jacks. Make it purposeful. Squeeze. Fire up those arms. Fire up those legs. Hips to toes. Shoulders to fingertips. Pump it. Cross in front. And step that foot back if you're adding legs. Step it back behind you. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Awesome, you got rows next. So bands or weights. Earlier for Superman, we, we were focusing on squeezing the tips of our shoulder blades together. This time, middle of your shoulder blades lift point. Sit up tall, shoulders down, hinge forward. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Squeeze. Middle of your shoulder blades. Squeeze together. Next long line with your spine. Last three, two, one. Nice. Next round, one more time on shoulder on rows. Same thing we did on shoulder presses. We're gonna row for five in the three in the center, five with one arm, three in the center, five with the other. Here we go. In center. So hinge forward, squeeze those shoulder blades. For three, two, one. One arm squeezes back, other arm just holds still. Three, two, one, three to center, both arms. Keep breathing. Other side. Two, one. Couple more in the center. Last three, two, one. Nice, release that band. Arms drop down. You can use super light weight or um, light resistance bands on this. So we're gonna do some Y's this time up to the ceiling. Thumbs up, shoulders down, and lift. Super active. Make sure those thumbs are going up towards the ceiling. Rotates your shoulder into the correct spot. Hold in the center. Slowly, slowly up. Back center. Without going all the way down, back up. Keep breathing, three. Next one, we're gonna stop and hold center. Backward circles here. Work your arms out to the side to a T. Hold. Slowly back down. One more time if you've got it. Work those circles up. And back down. Hold. And release, shake it out. Arms open up out to the side. Bring one arm across your body. Give it a little hug. Make sure there's plenty of space between your neck and your, or your shoulder and your ear. And keep that neck long. Open up those arms. Other arm across. Drop that shoulder. Breathe. Arms open up. Big breath in, exhale, stretch up to the ceiling, exhale for the other side, inhale up, exhale, 
Inhale, back up. Exhale. Back down. Awesome. Nice work today, everybody.